Today we're exploring the exciting world of Stacy's pocketbook. And for those of you who ain't from around here, pocketbook means purse. But you'll never hear me say purse. Uh, this is always a pocketbook. So, I've had several of you ask me if I would talk about our budget envelopes. Um, so, I thought it would be easier if I did a video versus taking pictures because then you could actually see them. So, that's what we're going to talk about today is my budget envelopes real quick. I will show them to you. Um, this is it. It's from Dave Ramsey uh, because we are a little hardcore Dave. Go Dave! Um, obviously carry this in my pocketbook because it's too much for Barry to lug around with him. Um, so I take care of it and it stays in here. Uh, this is actually, like I said, Dave's from Dave Ramsey. He has also, I think, a red and a blue if you don't like black. This is our second one. The first one we had was the one that he has with paper envelopes inside. We didn't use that for seven years, so it's a good option. But we decided to upgrade and get the one with the leather filers inside instead. So every month we do our budget. Uh, if you don't have a budget, you can work on it uh, using Barry's free ebook when you sign up for our emails. So sign up for our emails and you can get that uh, budget book. And if you already get our emails, you can download it anytime you want. It's on the right side of the screen. It says, it's not about money, so just click on that. It'll take you to the book. But this is what I do every month, and uh, we put them in there, our cash in here. If you open it up on one side, it's actually got a place for um, our checks. So our checks go in here, and it's also got a place for medical insurance and membership cards. I don't put anything in there because I just carry those in my wallet instead. But this could actually even just be your whole pocketbook if you want wanted it to be, clutch it like this, but because um, over here it's got a place for your debit card and other little, like your library card and all sorts, and here you can put your driver's license. Uh, I carry all that stuff in my other little wallet, um, so that's on that side. And then in the back it's got a change purse, which, what's in here? <gasps> and guess what's in here? It's Chick-fil-A coupons! Woohoo! They never expire! Stacy's just bearing it all here. Here's my Chick-fil-A coupons, everybody. Um, now, in this section, there's little filers. As you can see, I'll get up a little closer. Little filers, and that's your categories, and you put your cash down in there. Um, they come done already. Uh, if you can see, they've already got the names on there. Um, uh, the ones that we use, I don't, there's one that I don't even use on here because it's gas, and we don't do gas. We do that with our card, but... Our categories are clothing, entertainment, which is like if we go out to eat or go to a movie. <laughs> What's a movie theater? Um, then uh, groceries and miscellaneous. So those are the only cash categories we have. Miscellaneous is like if I need to buy toilet paper um, or vitamins or, you know, something we, like light bulbs. Just anything that pops up that we hadn't really uh, prepared for that month, we put that in there. And so that's mine. And if you don't like black or you think that's dull and boring, there's tons of these types of things on Etsy uh, where you can support a stay-at-home crafting mom and buy one of those. Uh, or if you're crafty and don't burn yourself with hot glue and butcher yourself with needles like me, um, you could even make one. The Deborah from Sweet Kisses and Dirty Dishes uh, has a tutorial on making them, and I'll link that in the post uh, down underneath or on top, wherever I put it. So that's all. If you have any questions, you can leave them for me in the comments and I'll answer them for you.